welcome to the curriculum on the monk and today i'm in wasteland 3 doing a little guide for you guys so this is kind of like a tips video or maybe what i do video basically the point of this video is to tell you why i do not use a sniper rifle anymore in combat so for a little while i was using a sniper and i was using sneaky on my sniper I then found out later in the game to start using a explosive guy with sneaky. So this is the build that I'm using for my explosives, heavy gunner. Uh, he has a um, heavy machine gun. He actually has um, explosive rounds on his heavy on the heavy machine gun. Um, and of course, I focus on this guy very, very um, explosive. So anything I can get to increase my explosive damage. Um, that's what I do, that's what I use. And I'm showing you the stats, the basic stats that I've put on on this character. I think the, the most important one is a blast radius. Um, and then after that, the most important one would be the end one on sneaky shit. It's called a lights out uh, and it deals an extra 200% damage. Um, when you basically what you would normally do is you'd initiate a fight if you could with your sniper it kind of guarantees you a kill um with this build i'm kind of showing you that you can guarantee yourself multiple kills even a little sneaky end of the game now this is the only time i actually use the nukazooka but as you can see if you use the nukazooka with this it is just absolutely devastating now i took out the patriarch himself then um with one hit and all of his minions as well it is that powerful it's absolutely insane build you can take out so many people in one go if you can get them grouping together big enough you can take them out basically it doesn't matter who they are you know you're talking like seven thousand damage in one hit you know um it's devastating and it's game breaking um you could actually have a couple of characters running this if you had enough rockets if you had enough cash maybe you've been using an exploit maybe not i don't know um but it basically changes the game it makes it so so easy it's absolutely crazy and it's why i don't use a sniper rifle anymore now sneaky shit um and the you know initiating um a fight yourself you guarantee yourself a kill and it's definitely a good way to play the game and it's definitely a good way to start every single battle but as soon as i realized that you could actually put this on your explosive expert and then start using just i mean what i'm using here um in all of these clips apart from the one with the patriarch is just a basic i mean it's not basic but it's just like you know a regular um rocket launcher um, it's nothing fancy, you know, it's it's not it's not the Nukazooka. I'm not using tactical nukes, I'm just using regular rockets. And as you see, I'm taking down some pretty hard battles um with absolute breeze. You know, I'm not taking almost any damage at all, apart from when I do a little bit of friendly fire. Oops, may want to watch that. Um but yeah, so I just wanted to bring this to you guys, show you what I've done before. I've had given you the build for this guy beforehand. Um, this isn't a build I haven't done before, but I never actually showed you gameplay of it in use. And I even spoke about the strategy behind an explosive build with sneaky shit. But again, I never actually showed you gameplay of me actually doing it and putting it into use. Um, so I figured I would show you uh, what I was doing. Now I'm using you know very familiar characters. If you watched any of my builds, you'll know um, you know who these guys are. Iron Fist, for instance, is one of my absolute favorite builds. This guy will kill pretty much anyone in his turn. You know if he's if he's allowed to. Um, I really do like him, but you cannot deny just how devastating. The explosive, explosive expert actually is. I think the best thing about him is that it's not just down to um, rockets, you know, grenades as well. Um, you deal a hell of a lot of damage from a basic grenade. When we're talking late game, obviously to get maxed out stats in everything you need to get a maxed out stat in. So we're talking about big guns, we're talking about explosives, and we're talking about sneaky shit. That is three massive skill chains that I'm asking you to max out there. 
On this character, I actually have extra damage in animals because I have the survival and I also do extra damage to vehicles and simps um, because I also have mechanics. Um, because again, if you watched any of my, um, my build videos before, you'll know that I like to stack damage buffs. Um, and I put it into play in pretty much all these little clips here. I've even got a clip against the uh, bisons. Bisons are huge uh, tanks in this game. You know, we're talking like two and a half thousand um, health points. And I can take them out in one go. Um, I think one of my original playthroughs coming up to against these guys. Uh, actually, they offer you a clown burger for anyone that hasn't done it yet. Eat the clown burger once, you'll get an achievement. Um but after that, don't eat it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually found this this battle a little bit difficult the first time I ever played it, or at least challenging, you know what I mean? I definitely took damage. Um, as you can see, I'm doing all these battles with just the four basic rangers. I didn't bring in any companions because I've kind of done some naughty things too. Um, but as you can see, you know, none of these battles were hard. They were all very, very easy. I took out the, Patriot, the Patriarch and all of his little minions uh, with this team. Um, and every single battle you see, I initiate it with the rocket launcher. I just think it's a really good tip. I thought I would share it with you guys. I thought I would show it actually in action. Here's the bisons right now. Now, these guys are quite tough. Um, I actually took out the uh, the gang beforehand anyway, so I figured I'd take these out too. And as you see, one rocket, you know, it didn't even initiate combat. It's just boom and done. You know, it's that easy. So anyway, if this video has helped you guys, please let me know in the comments. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, um, think about liking and subscribing uh, because I'm always trying to churn out more uh, Wasteland videos. I think Wasteland is an absolutely amazing game. That I really enjoy playing. Uh, I've got a lot of videos in this game now. And I think I've got a pretty good understanding of it. So if I find any more tips, any more tricks, any more exploits, or um, maybe you guys have found something that you're struggling with in a game. Or maybe, unfortunately, the recent update has messed your game up so bad. Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll try my very best to make sure that I reply to every single one of them. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And maybe you've learned something, maybe you haven't. Um, but again, I just thought I'd share actual real gameplay of me putting this into use. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Anyway, I've been a monk, I've been, we've been a critically clueless, and I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Keep enjoying that wasteland, guys.